Hi everyone, welcome back to Do You Want to Craft a Snowman? Anyway, um, I hope you get the reference. If not, I can't help you. Um, today we're doing snowman earrings. Very easy, very quick and simple. I'm using these plastic beads that I picked up from Join Fabric. I want to say a couple of years ago because I haven't bought this big bag of beads in a long time and it was in a container that I had to move stuff to get stuff. So yeah, it's been a while. It's uh, 1,050 count, one pounds. And it has three different sizes from what I've noticed. I don't know the measurements, but nonetheless, these are the sizes. I got the big one, the medium, and then a little small, a smaller one. They're not very small per se. They do have a wide opening. So you can see it's a pretty big opening. You can't just put these on an eye pin or a head pin and expect for this not to come apart. It will eventually fall off or get stuck. So nonetheless, I made a bracelet first because I was like, this would be cute. And no one really knows that a snowman until you, they're like, is that a snowman? You're like, wow, well, yes it is. It is a snowman. And this is a three body part snowman. It has the big one, the medium one, little scarf, um, the head, and then we have a little black hat. Now for the earrings that we're going to make today, I did not want to do that per se. I'm going to show you the other thing that we're using. The only reason why I didn't want to use that one per se is because the small size is the same size. And I don't have any square or any type of shape black speed. So I'm using what I have. I did not run out to the store and was like, oh, I need to buy some more. I didn't do that. So because I have I have plenty. I do have these. The, again, this is from uh, Joanne Fabric as well. I got these when they had a, like a really good bead sale. So we're going to be using these white glass beads and these little shaped glass beads right here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pull out four of those. And then we're going to try, we're going to try, let's see, we got this one and this one. Yeah, so we got those two as well. I was just looking to see which beads I had that would make a, a three-part body. And none of them really would. So let's go ahead and put these to the side. And I have jump rings, seed, uh, seed beads, eye pins, and head pins. Okay. I was messing around with these things. I was like, why don't you just pull out this bead looper and stop playing games with yourself? Because you know that you struggle to make the things. And I was like, yeah, you're right. You know, in my head, I was like, mm-hmm, that's right, mm-hmm. So... Here we go. You know, it's always interesting for me whenever I get ready to make jewelry, wire jewelry that needs findings. I can never find it. And also, we're going to use these little bead spaces. Now, I had looked on the interwebs, and it was so many people doing so many things. I think what I want to do in the future is try to do some craft, a, a different craft, not just bead making jewelry. So, we're going to go ahead and go here here uh oh this might not work it might work that's pretty that's pretty I need a black glass bead I feel like it kind of cheapens the experience is that even the right word to say? It's cheapening the experience. I feel like that's a decent word to say. His little hat, my snowman's hat, is different now. I don't. Ha I have a blue hat, so we're just gonna have to stay with this. This is fine. We'll stay with that. And then I'll show you. I have this little one-step bead looper. This is a 1.5. You don't need this in your life. But it makes it so much easier to loop your beads, for me at least, because my bead looping is not the best. And look, no 45, no 90 degree angles, no clipping, no cut, no nothing. And I just come over and I just adjust it to make sure that this closes all the way down. Um, they have three different sizes. I have all of the sizes. These, this is what it looks like, this container. Cat fur. 
and this is how it gives you instructions on the back right so it tells you how to make the eye pins everything so if you wanted to take those little ones and fix it to make the eye pins you definitely could do that I am not going to stress myself out like that because it's not needed the stress it is it's not needed is what I'm saying stress myself out is not needed there you go slide this through here and close squeeze you know I had spoke about this um previous some of our craft so stores are going out of business closing etc cetera, etc cetera. local craft stores as well as big box stores are in danger um, if you are a crafter you know for me I like touching stuff I don't particularly care to buy stuff online all the time yes deals are great but I ordered something from Michaels this week and I still went in the store and walked around to see if it was anything else I could purchase it was nothing else I could purchase because I had made I had told myself we're not we're not here to shop so we're gonna take this white one same thing right here and this guy and then little black bead I found that black beads for whatever reason and um, white beads I think and red black red and white tend to be some of the harder beads to actually keep for me to buy and find I don't know why it is but it is that way I do like a longer head pin eye pin this is an eye pin the eye pin has a little circle at the bottom it looks like an eye right it's open and close the head pin are these flat things like this flat so it's like a nail and then we just come over here all the prices are going up so if you are into crafting and you go somewhere and they have a good sale and you can afford it you know get an extra one because the next time you go the price seems to scoop on up for whatever reason um, all this stuff can't be affected by inflation the way they say it is and yes, I do understand that inflation is crazy, but what I'm saying is the prices that gets inflated. Um, I went to get eggs for Easter, and <laughs> the price on the eggs, I only got 12, and I was like, I remember when these used to be like 89, and plus I think I'm just getting older as well, um, and the older you get, things do change, right? So you know things are changing, you know that things have changed but goodness it's kind of crazy so I'm just gonna go ahead I did those I'm gonna adjust this one and so we have four different three different kinds I'm gonna make one more though I want to try it out I don't know if it's gonna actually work or not all right so I have some seed beads, but I think I'm going to use these at the bottom and the top just because we don't want to be stressed. Who wants to be stressed when you're crafting? Not I. So I'll give them a base. And I'm mixing metals. Oh, I need to use a flat one. Okay. this right no yes yes it's right it's a B cap <laughs> there we go now it fits nice and snug and then we're gonna go here with our medium one then we're gonna go with our smallest And then we'll give it a little hat. And let's see how this looks. This might not look the greatest. So you can't really tell it. I mean, you could. You know it's a snowman because I'm telling you it's a snowman, but you really can't tell because I don't. I feel like we didn't put a necklace on it. 
I just don't want to keep putting all these on here. I didn't want to mix the colors too much. But I think we'll do that one. It'll, it'll be fine. All right. Some of the stuff I have to start using, right? Like that's the, the thing when you have craft supplies. You got to start using to buy more, right? I have a friend who um, I told her, I said, I want to buy more. I want to use my stuff up so I can buy more stuff. But I haven't really been a good steward of my craft supplies. I'll say that. Like I should be, I should say. Yep, that looks cute to me. Besides the cat fur being all over it. You know, I know some people have their cats, like, every the cat is allowed to, you know, be on their desk. And Nicholas is not not allowed, but he's... I don't want him sitting here where I'm, I'm working because then he'll start taking advantage of that and he'll want to sit here when I'm actually attempting to create, you know? And we don't want that. All right, so we got that. Yep, yep. And now this one. But he, he does sit at my desk. <laughs> I've come home before and he's sitting there looking like, what you doing home so early? I'm getting ready to make a video. I'm like, sir, you can't, you have no thumbs. <laughs> You can't type. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this off. And I'm going to leave this off because I'm not going to connect these earrings is what I'm saying. I do like them though. Look, they're cute. Very cute. But you see this metal? I think I might find a gold one. Some gold um, findings. And I don't think I have any in my current possession. Which is kind of sad. You would think that I would have those. But I don't. So let's go ahead and um, move this out the way. And let's go ahead and put our eye, our head, our earring together real quick. So we need some jump rings. And I'm only going to do two. We, you've seen me do this before. But I'm very excited about that. Um, I think I'll probably wear that during the holidays. So we need four jump rings, even though we're only going to do two together. What are you crafting? What have you been up to? We haven't spoken since the last video, so that could have been a long time ago, or that could have been yesterday. Depends on when you last watched my video, right? So what have you been up to? I have been up to thinking about a, a snowman creation. The funny thing is, I was like, okay, now that you open this, how are you going to close it back up? I do have some clips that I could just clip this thing like that. Could staple it. But the sorter in me wants to sort all the beads out. I don't know why. She just, she exists in my head for, of course, for rent free because she lives with me. She is a part of me. <laughs> all right, so you see, we got these little gold pieces. I just need to make sure I find some gold um, earring wires or hooks or whatever they're called. I don't know the professional name for them, like some of uh, these wonderful people on the interweb do so now um, assembly line fashion of course just twist don't pull twist twist don't pull and I feel like these could be really cute for your co-workers I have these wires are uh, allergen free but that's still some of them still give me issues but yeah and you know which side goes to what because they're on the black this is our little hat and this one is probably my favorite so if I had a gemstone that looked really good, a black one, that would probably be extra pretty. So we could revisit this when I get, um, find them. I do think that if I had a square hat, I would be more happy with it. So, something different, yeah. Whenever I tell people I make jewelry, like in the crafting community, that I meet in public or get ready to sell some jewelry, it's always kind of like, oh, okay. Because I'm not a big jewelry wearer, per se. I don't know. I have um, always been like that. I used to wear this watch, and I had painted it, right? It was a, f a fabric. It was like a canvas watch band, and I painted it. And underneath my wrist, underneath my, underneath my wrist, not risk, like we're taking risk. Well, we are. It had broke out so badly. 
and I was like I can't wear this anymore because I feel like my skin just wanted to quote unquote breeze right so let's go ahead and see what we got all right so here we are our finished product we made one pair off camera and we made the other two together right so I like this one the most of course right of course I like that one the most I like all of them, but I can only wear one pair at a time because I only have one holding each year. But I do like these. And then I also love, love, love the little bracelet that we got. So, anyway, I hope that you all enjoyed this. This is just with some stretchy cord um, and pieces. Now, I'm kind of contemplating, should we keep it like that? I mean, does it look like a snowman? Do I need to do something more distinct? I don't know. Anyway, I want to say thank you all for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed. And until next time... Happy crafting.